Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode here on Past Easter Skins. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us for the cold open episode today. We'll be checking out Future Unfolding. Now, um, my future unfolds one day at a time. I don't know if it actually unfolds with me sitting cross-legged in the middle of a field surrounded by deers, but this game implies it may do so, and I wouldn't mind finding out what this all means. Actually, in fact, it's not even deers. This actually looks like lions attacking deers. Hmm. 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 I want to know more about this. So, uh, European media indie funded. Ah, oh, this is actually made. Oh, so this is actually almost a art project more than anything else, and that's I, I am on board with that. Kind of wanted to saw this actually just a, a unique artistic perspective applied to gameplay. Future unfolding. Press any button to start. Oh, nice art style. What the heck? Okay. The hell was that? Oh wow. <laughs> this is actually this is actually quite pretty. This is very, 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 very calm and endearing. I do love it. Whoa, ooh. Thought I could organize a universe. Okay. Damn. What? Oh, a teleporter? That's amazing. Puya! Right, guys, come on, get back over here. Come on, herd the sheep, herd the sheep. There we go. He got me up to the next spot. All right. Here, sheepies. Come on. Oh, they just mellow out with the. Uh, hey, sheepy. Look at your floof! Look at your floof! Use your floof to jump! Alright, cool. Alright, so essentially, I immediately went and sat down, chilled out, communicated with a sheep. The sheep then spoke to me and was like, Alright, I'll follow your ass. Cool, I actually like that. There's a common tale of how this world came into being. Is there no? There is no common tale. Oh, there is no common tale for the of how this world will end. Right? Some say it has already ended. How ominous? Tell me somewhere to go. Okay. Into the crevices. Okay. So where am I now? I need to get to the east. In my floofs. We have floof! Floof jump! And floof jump! Ah, oh, damn it. Floof! Ah, uh, no doubt. Floof jump! Ah, come on! Give me my floof jump. Why is floof jump small now? There we go. I wonder why it was actually not only giving me a wee tiny jump. Alright, uh. In that case, I'm gonna figure out how to get around here. I need to go east. 
I might actually have to go up and around. Oh, hello, Floofs. How's it going? You Floof join me? You join me, Floof. Exactly where I needed to go. Did I, did I just kind of like floof teleport somehow? No idea how I did that. <coughs> you know, just knock over all those things. Blah, 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 blah. Still continuing on my little quest around here. So I knew it would actually be like an up and over kind of thing. That's kind of cool. I like the fact that you disturb the rocks as you move along. And you like weak trails. You guys know where you've been essentially that way. Right, right. Progress to the place I need to be, anyway. Yep, just through these trees. There we go. What the hell? What am I tethered to? Do I have to connect the two trees? Or the three trees? Ah! Trees in harmony, baby! Trees in harmony! Oi, who'd you be running? Okay. What the hell are you doing? What is it? What? I'm gonna connect this to you into something else. Wait, why? Mm, I'm wondering what there's actually like one individual tree stand out amongst its owners. Okay, do I go this way? And contextually, I'm trying to figure out why these are connected to each other. What's the problem whenever there's a standalone tree? It doesn't give me any context. Let me go anywhere else. Oh wait, hang on. Hmm. The triangle at the top, I'm wondering is it here? <laughs> I gotcha. I have no idea what it is that's controlling those, but uh, it's interesting. Walking through one door. We'll place you in front of another. Well, hello there, me! Are you my shadow? Oh, something else. 
Alright. You coming this way? Alright, good man. You keep following. This way? Contextually, I have no idea what's going on here. But it's pretty. It's so very, very pretty. Yo, buddy, I have no idea what I need to be doing here. You wanna tell me? Oh, shit. Okay. Right. You meant to be, are you meant to be growing bushes in a particular place? I don't know. It just feels like it. Oh, damn. We're meant to be going south. Okay. Damn. Right. I'm following. I'm following you. Where the hell are you going? Oh, yeah, okay. Hey. Hey. I have no context for what I need to be doing. Oh, there's actually another cave here. Well, hello there, you! Hey! <laughs> awesome! <laughs> Quick travel! Hey! 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 Up. Hey! Oh, I can't take the deer with me in. Oh, I just got my shadow to fall with me instead. Oh god, I have so little context for what's going on here, but I'm liking it so much. Oh, cool. The wee white one and the wee black one follow me now. Oh, it's cool. <coughs> Lo, I have no context for what's going on now. Snake! Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Snack! Snack! Sneaky snack? I'm so disappointed because I actually lost both my little wee white dude and my the wee uh, black one as well. And like, I'm like, I have bunnies that were following me and now they're all gone. Oh, what's this? <laughs> it's like, I'm so one track minded, aren't I? Alright. What's this? Okay. Looks like one of three had been affected. There's so little context for what's going on here. I feel like <sighs> kind of reminds me of, like something like another world or whatever where it's going like, all right, I have no idea what I'm doing here. I don't know what I need to do. Whoa, snack, leave me the fuck alone now, man. You are you're becoming an annoying snack. Snacks, snacks are not fun now. It is not snack time. All right, where are we going? No idea. To the south. So this is just a very calm, exploratory kind of world thing, and it's beautiful. Actually, I really love the design of this. Um, just I'm not too sure about what its context is. Actually. Uh, uh. Oh, I'm just keep on exploring. That's essentially all I can do in this situation. Hmm. Hmm. 
So, state of play. Obviously, this was a. Ooh, little bunny. Hey, little my bunny friend. You chill out with me. Come, come, let us go. My bunnies. You will all become my friends. Bunnies, ho! I sprint like the wind, with my bunny friends in tow. Oh, Who are you? Huzzah! I feel like I do leave them behind a little bit. Alright, where am I meant to be going? So I'm just gonna, just gonna keep on walking. Get rid of rocks. I don't have a context for. Uh, oh, there we go. We've got two. Ding. We only have need one more of these. I have no idea what I where the next one is going to be though. Can I actually? I can look at the map. Oh well. Uh, I can't really look at the map because it's actually like, it's literally listed in a place inside a cave. It won't be listed amongst all the rest of things I've already seen. All right, let's continue our search then. Ah, it turns rocks into trees. How very useful. Eep. Alright, I need to get up there. Ah, tree me. There we go. Oh, no. Well, there's obviously a quick exit, so I want to actually take a look and see what else there is. Hey! That would be bonus. Knock over all the rocks. Don't know what the wee white bonuses are, but um, it'd be nice to collect so far. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, no, nope, we're running the limit. Wall limits! I'm so I, like this is obviously not what I meant to be doing. I'm gonna, so I'm so far off the beaten path now. I, I'm literally just walking around the edge of the map. It's not nice that it lets you do something like this, though. Oh, is that a cliffside? I can't get around. Yes, it is. Damn it! Damn it! I literally walked myself. Oh, what's that? All right. Never mind, we got a context now. I'm gonna go take a look at that. Uh, there we go. Running through the poppy fields! Okay, I need to go this way. I'm assuming they'll actually get me upstairs to the top of this place. When the other animals came to settle, the rabbits allied with deer and sheep. They didn't make a sound, nor nary a peep. They did not want us here. We others had to unite to come our to come our to our right. For who's bad? To who's right? Peace is fragile here. God damn it! Give me another place to go. So essentially I figured that this entire game is just Contextual exploring I'll give you more stuff to look at over and over again. Oh, what is the big test rack in here? I want in! I want in, you fuck! Let me in, you fucker! No, no luck. I'm gonna be able to break through that wall. Doesn't look like it. So the context actually is that it's gonna let me get into this after I do another wee bit. I don't know. We actually been recording here. Uh, also, I think we're actually going to call this a stop on the first kind of cold open on this, but I am intrigued to find out more about the um, future that is unfolding in that game. Are you guys interested in it? Like, I mean, visual style-wise, um, I it's an explorer's game. Uh, the music is very chilled out and mellow. This is the kind of thing I could actually just, you know, sit down with a beer, relax, kick back, and not be thinking about playing for the context of. <sighs> 
Sure. Making the funnies and actually trying to be um, like super energetic. It's, I feel chilled out just by watching. In fact, I was like, I started yawning there, and not that wasn't actually a yawn of boredom. That was actually a yawn of relaxation. The game seems to be very relaxing, not designed to actually be stressful in any way, shape, or form. Just because I like, ran into a snack and I didn't get stressed out about it. He killed me, but I didn't care. Um, yeah, future unfolding looks like a bit of fun to actually continue on with here on the channel. If you guys be interested in it. Tell me in the comments below. Tell me all the thoughts and things you might be actually realizing. If you've never even heard of this game, let's get together and talk about this because I want to actually see games. I want to see more games like this on consoles. I mean, PC will always have more autary kind of um, passion project -y artistic work because it's a, the freedom of actually getting it onto it is so much easier. Then it's obviously had to get funding from a number of different places to actually put it together, but I'm going to go and look up States of Play and find out, like, what the hell was Future Unfolding meant to be about? Where did it come from? Um, I would like to see more games like this, so please make any recommendations you can think of in the comments below. Um, I, like, not, not, don't, don't recommend Stanley's Parable. Like, where everybody's played that, everybody's seen it. Or, um, what was the other one? The guy that made Stanley's Parable did. That was really good, actually. Beginner's Guide. I loved Beginner's Guide. That was actually really enjoyable. Uh, narrative experiences like that, I really do enjoy, especially if there actually is like a really good context and explanation, like a good reveal at the end of it. Uh, so the kind of thing that like you play it once and you never play it again, but you go to your friends and go, like, go and check that out, but don't look up what happens in it. Or if you don't want to play it, just watch it, but don't watch one with somebody's reactions because I want it to be a pure reaction. Um, that those kind of games throw them into the comments below because I'd actually be definitely up for playing them I actually do like I do like a good walking simulator and on occasion Gone Home was amazing I actually really enjoyed it I got like I got way too nostalgic and into that because it was actually contextually very 90s based but uh yeah those kind of games if you actually have ones I recommend make sure to throw them in the comments underneath the videos and um yeah if you happen to be watching this on YouTube we really hope you press the button sitting right up there. Over on this side, there will actually be a recent playlist of stuff, all cold opens. Over on the far side will be the most recent video on the channel. And here will be a video just for you based on your user analytics and the things you do on YouTube. It'll pick something for you to watch, so I recommend this one right here. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope to see you all again very soon. And until then, I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.